Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a neutral lip tutorial. This is kind of my take on the nude lip. I love nude lips on other people, but on me it's just too harsh or something and I can't pull it off. So I do more of my own lip color, just enhanced. So first thing I do is put on my chapstick before I put on my makeup. The reason I do that is because if I put my chapstick on right before I do my whole lip um, routine, then my lipstick goes on slimy and it's just, it doesn't work. So I found this is the best bet. Now my favorite chapstick at the moment is the EOS Ball Egg. Is it EOS, EOS, I don't know, but I love this. Now I've heard this raved about on YouTube a long time ago and I just could never find it so I never had it. Well recently I saw this in my Walmart checkout line. I love it. It's about three dollars or so at least at my Walmart. I have the flavor lemonade. It is so, so moisturizing, and I love it because I always lose my chapsticks. And since it's a huge ball, it's easy to grab in the bottom of my purse. So anyway, put this on before I do my face and makeup. That way, by the time I get around to my lips, it's kind of sunk in. Now, if it hasn't sunk all the way in by the time I start my lips, I blot it off a little bit just so it's not super kind of slimy. So I just kind of blot it off a little bit. So you can still feel it, but it's not totally chapsticky. All right, now, first thing I'm going to do is take my lip liner. I am using the Boutique in the shade Natural, I believe. This is from Sally Beauty. All right, I'm going to zoom in here or try to a little bit. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. I'm not really going to overline them except for under my bottom lip is the only place that I really overline. So starting, oh, make sure you your lip liner is sharp, by the way. I know that sounds kind of duh and obvious, but believe me, I've tried to do it before when it's smudged and it's a disaster. All right, so under my lower lip line, just about the width of your two front teeth, I'm going to make a deep line. And I'm going to go out of my natural lip line just a little bit not a lot and I'm gonna go back and forth a few times to kind of give that pout and you can tell already how that makes my bottom look look a little my bottom lip look a little bit fuller now I'm gonna go ahead and very lightly with my um, pressure I'm gonna go back and forth just on the outer edges of my lower lip and I kind of have to make a really awful, like, not a fish face, but something like this. When I do my lip liner, if I try to keep my lips normal or I um, pucker or anything, it's a disaster. So I apologize for my crazy face. So I just very lightly go over my lip line here. Now I know a lot of people overline their whole lip. That is fine. I don't. You can do whatever you want. So I went ahead and did the bottom line or the bottom lip. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my top lip. I always do my Cupid's bow first or that area, I guess. I don't know why. And I do make this a little bit darker. That little V. Alright, so now once I have the little V, I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing very lightly along the rest of my lip. Right on the lip line. Now once I have that done, I'm just going to go ahead and blot my lips together. I don't really rub them too much, or sometimes I can get the lip liner to go on the outside. Now if you want to, you can open your mouth and kind of go on the inner corners. Since this color is so close to my lip color, I don't really feel like I necessarily need to do that. But I am going to go ahead and very lightly just kind of shade in my lips on the outer corners. So I'm going to go in... I know I'm getting a little descriptive, but that helps me in videos. Um, I'm 
not going to go in any farther than my four middle teeth. So for example, here's my teeth. I'm just going to stop about right here. Okay. And I'm just going to lightly shade this area in. And this helps add dimension to your lips. By leaving that middle section without the lip liner, it kind of leaves that area a little bit lighter than the rest of the lip. And that's what gives you kind of the poutiness. All right. So let me kind of zoom out again. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get the webcam deal going. All right, so I went ahead and did my lip liner. And now I'm going to go ahead and do my lipstick. I am using today Viva Glam 2. It's just a gorgeous neutral, very close to my natural lip color. Obviously, you know how to put lipstick on. All right, so there we are with the lipstick. Let me zoom in again so you can see the pout a little bit better. Okay, you can see how the lip liner just enhanced my lips and made them a little bit fuller. Now, I usually add a little bit of gloss. I'm not gonna do anything sparkly or anything like that today. This is just the Shine Sensational by Maybelline in Peach Sorbet, and honestly, I just love the smell, and that's why I'm using it. I'm just gonna dot a little bit on the center of my lips and then just kind of blot it together very lightly and then just stab it on the outsides of your lips as well. All right, so this is basically, I mean not basically, this is it. This is how I do my neutral lip. It's a little bit darker. It's obviously not a nude, nude lip, but for me this is what I consider nude because it's the same shade as my lips. So. Here it is. I hope you like it. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching, guys.